evacuation through Slovak Republic and Hungary border crossings uh, also is proceeding steadily. But we urge students there also not to reach the border points, for example, at CHOP um, directly to avoid these long waiting times. They are requested to coordinate with our teams and follow the advisories. Um, I am happy to share that evacuation through Moldova is also picked up, uh, particularly after our team at Chisi now has become operational. From Moldova, uh, evacuees are taken to Bucharest to catch the Obganga flights. On the border areas, uh, as well as in capital cities of Ukraine's neighbors, I mean Bucharest, Budapest, etc., our teams have made arrangements for food and accommodation for evacuees till they depart from India. With the large number of flights that are now being organized, they, this period will shorten and hopefully soon they will be able to leave for India once they have crossed the border. Prime Minister's special envoys have reached the countries uh, neighboring Ukraine, and you've seen the information on that, and are coordinating efforts firsthand there, and we will be sharing information on that also. Um, I mentioned about our embassy, and I had received a few queries on this issue. The embassy was asked to set up a temporary office in Lviv, as I mentioned, to facilitate border crossings by Indian nationals. A substantial segment of our embassy team is now at Lviv for this purpose. Uh, the other segment, the location of the other segment of the embassy team is uh, dynamic. We are exploring other options, so we are exploring options for them to actually reach eastern Ukraine you know, to assist the evacuation of citizens who are stuck, as you know, on the eastern Ukraine who are stuck. Once they come out of this, uh, let's say, Kharkiv, we are seeing if our teams can reach there. It's not easy because the route is not open all the time. But as I said, the, the location of that segment of the embassy team, as I mentioned, is dynamic. Moving on to the humanitarian assistance that we have, been, uh, prom we have announced uh, by the Prime Minister. Foreign Secretary informed you yesterday, humanitarian aid in the form of medicines, uh, medical equipment, tents, blankets, uh, solar lamps, uh, other material is being sent to Ukraine in uh, tranches, the first tranche of basically medicines, I think about two tons of it, was sent uh, on last uh, yesterday, today is the second, yesterday, uh, to Poland, through Poland, or, and is being handed over there. And we expect three more tranches, which will have tents, blankets, sleeping mats, etc. I think it's about 16 tons each shipment or something will be sent today by the Indian Air Force flight, one of them, and the other one to Romania, and I think by some other airline to Poland. I will end here by saying that the MEA control room, as well as the control centers operated by our embassies, continue to operate 24-7 basis. The MEA control room has now attended 9,874 calls, nearly 10,000 calls, and responded to 7,657 emails. I think that gives a good a good flavor of what is going on. I know you'll have questions, so let me open the... One second. This hmm? microphone. जी जरूर देखिए अभी हमने देखा होगा कुछ ही देर पहले हमने एडवाइजरी हमारी एम्बेसी ने एडवाइजरी जारी की है जिसमें हमारे नागरिक हमारे छात्र जो खारकीव शहर में हैं खारकीव की बात कर रहा हूँ स्पेसिफिकली खारकीव शहर में उनको कहा गया है कि आप निकल ले वहाँ से शाम के छह बजे लोकल टाइम के पहले और तीन जगह बताई गई है मेरे पास उसके कुछ डिटेल भी हैं फिर से बताता हूँ सॉरी वो नाम है मेरे पास हमारे आ, हमारे प्रेस रिलीज में है आ, आ, वहां पे चले जाएं वो करीब पंद्रह किलोमीटर रेलवे स्टेशन से दूर है आ, किसी भी तरह से वहां चले जाएं हमारी आग्रह होगी ताकि वहां पे सेफ रहे ये सेफ जोन हमें बताए गए हैं हमें मालूम है कुछ दिक्कतें आ रही हैं जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वहां पर निकलने में ये स्वाभाविक है और हम उनके कोर्डिनेशन कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट कोर्डिनेटर से तो हम आग्रह करें सॉरी वन सेकेंड नाउ लेट मी टेक क्वेश्चन इन अ मोर ऑर्गेनाइज मैनर प्लीज आपसे शुरू करते हैं ओके विल टेक माइक्रोफोन इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ नीरज न्यूज एटीन इंडिया से आपने कहा कि रशियन इनपुट पे आधारित ये एडवाइजरी है किस तरह के इनपुट है क्या उनकी तरफ से आश्वासन दिया गया कि सेफ पैसेज दिया जा रहा है उसके बाद ये एडवाइजरी जारी की गई है ताकि रशियन बॉर्डर से वो निकल सके या खतरा खरकियों पर बढ़ गया इस तरह का कोई इनपुट खुफिया आप लोग के पास है Uh, who else was the hand up? Uh, one second, huh? Yeah, okay, related question. Uh, sir, uh, 
has Russia introduced and uh, sir, this is Kamaljit Sandhu I'm from yeah. India today. Uh, sir, has Russia given an assurance regarding safe passage and is the time till 21.30 today? Uh, is there a three hour window for all the students and Indians to walk away to the nearest point, at least 15 kilometers away as you were mentioning? from beyond, how many Indians are there in the conflict zone, especially in the city of Kharkiv? Any number if you can give us? How many you said, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Who else were it? Here? Uh, yeah, sorry, I saw you first. Please, you are it. Sir, I am Meghna Dev from DD News. I uh, wanted to know, there are three locations that have been given for students to reach. So is there any strategy or uh, people are figuring out uh, what is going to be the onward uh, journey, how, where will go, they will go from there? Okay. Ma'am? I will take questions. <laughs> तो विजयलक्ष्मी वो मैं इंडिया टीवी से एक और छात्र की मौत की खबर वहाँ पर आ रही है उसके बारे में किस तरह की जानकारी है चंदन जिंदल? One more in this round perhaps or let me answer this. I mean if you have something different I'll come round to it. देखिए नीरज शुरू करता हूँ. आपने कहा ये रूसी इनपुट्स हैं किस तरह खुफिया तो पता नहीं कुछ पर कन्वर्जेंट आल्सो आस्ट um, we have uh, issued this advisory based on inputs that the Russian side has given. We haven't chosen these locations. Uh, we haven't chosen the time. These are based on inputs that, as you, as, uh, uh, you, as you know, we've been saying, and Foreign Secretary has said, External Affairs Minister also had raised, Prime Minister has also raised, conveyed to his counterparts of the need for uh, a mechanism to safely evacuate our citizens, our nationals. Uh, our advisory is based on um, inputs that we have received from the Russian side. Um, I can't say anything beyond this uh, because I think that's pretty self-evident. So I think those uh, questions, um, I, th I think that addresses that. Um, Meghna, your question is also similar. The three locations that you mentioned, there's no particular strategy as such. These are locations that are reasonably close and we feel these are our safe zones. And the request is to see if they can move there. Um, yes, I understand the difficulties. I understand some places, some people are rec reporting some difficulties of uh, various kinds, including violence continuing. But look, we will we, we'll work with that. We are in touch with the student coordinators. And this advisory, um, we would urge everyone to take seriously to the, you know, and leave. Um, Siddhant, you mentioned uh, how many people. It's a very difficult ans question to answer. We've been trying to give you assessments of where people are. Uh, I don't think it will be an appropriate and accurate, uh, considering that we're asking people to move out. Uh, as I mentioned, we had an original number of about 20,000 uh, who had registered. We are... Our sense is that the number of people who were there were little more than who had registered because we have we have now a broad understanding that about 17,000 people or near 17,000 people have left. Um, so there would have been a little more uh, to begin with who may not have registered. But obviously we will bring back every Indian who's there. Um, so I don't think it's... I know that some people left last night from Kharkiv in some trains today morning. So uh, I think instead of looking at those numbers, let's see whoever is left. Let's see if we can get them all in. As you know, in Kyiv, we managed to do that. Fingers crossed that Kharkiv also continues the same way. Uh, Vijay Lakshmi ji, you have mentioned an Indian student. I have a few Chandan Jindal, a student, was in Venetia. Today, his death was lost. Our condolences to the family. But this is from natural causes. वो काफी दिन से हॉस्पिटल में थे और उनके साथ उनके फैमिली मेंबर हैं यूक्रेन में उनके साथ और हमारे तरफ से हमारी शोक एंड ऑर्टिफिस कंडोलेंसेस लेट मी गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ओके ऑल ऑन यू बीन रेजिंग हैंड अर्ली सर लेट मी गो हियर दैन कम मैसर आनंदशा आई रिप्रेजेंट द न्यू इ so yesterday you mentioned about the negotiation. Uh, what sort of negotiation is this and what kind of back channel diplomacy with uh, Russia and Ukraine? And is it the same negotiator functioning with both sides? And secondly, uh, instead of the civil alliance, we are using uh, this IAF forces. Is it some sort of message? Uh, sorry, I didn't get the last part. IAF message to whom? To the Russians. Instead of civilian civilian air forces instead of civilian air ah, ah, sorry instead of civilian aircraft yeah okay instead of, yeah okay I, I got it yeah, okay. i got it i got it thank you uh yeah please sir shalandra from news 18 uh hamekal bataya gaya tha ki belgorod may be a team uh 
तैनात की गई है एनए की जो मॉस्को से गई है वो काफी करीब है खारकीव के क्या उसके थ्रू एक कॉरिडोर की बात की भी जाती की भी बात की जा रही थी कि वहां से एक कॉरिडोर बनाया जाएगा आज जो एम्बेसडर की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस भी हुई है रशियन एम्बेसडर की उन्होंने भी इस बात पर कहा कि हम कॉरिडोर बनाएंगे ताकि स्टूडेंट्स को वहां से निकाला जा सके तो क्या अपनी एम्बेसी जो टीम वहां पर है उनको कुछ रास्ता बना पाए वो निकालने के लिए इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स को सर आई एम सुचित्रा फ्रॉम न्यूजीलैंड इन तमिल एंड देर आर स्टूडेंट्स इन द एरिया ऑफ मिकलाव और निकलाव इन उक्रेन सो वी आर गेटिंग रिपोर्ट्स दैट दे डोंट हैव एनी कनेक्टिविटी इंक्लूडिंग द रेन स्टेशन गॉट ब्लास्ट इन मिसाइल किट सो डू यू हैव एनी अपडेट ऑन दैट हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर हाउ मेनी यू सर नो या सुधि Sir, uh, for the Bloomberg, sir. Any uh, inputs or uh, background you could share on whether Prime Minister is speaking to any of his counterparts or the EAM speaking to anybody else uh, on the crisis and and on the students also, sir? Thank you. Shrinjo, you uh, second round later, please. Let me finish. Sir, uh, this talk of getting people out from the east has been talked about for a while. how feasible is it now because as you know there is a window of opportunity to get people out if there is safe passage from both sides can the east getting people out of, from the east work out uh was i saw one more hand uh okay no let me take the uh, this round of questions let me start with uh, I am not sure I'm sure what you meant by negotiator I don't remember the word negotiations as I mentioned uh, we were uh, we had been in touch with the Russians I don't know if that's a negotiation uh, diplomats tend to use the word negotiations a little more you know carefully um this is a discussions and we've been in touch with them and to basically press our demand that uh, as well as the Ukrainians that uh, we need a uh, mechanism a safe passage for our uh, people um and as I mentioned just now uh, this is based on russian inputs what we have put the advisory um i wouldn't like to characterize it as a corridor or passage but we would like to get all our people out uh, your other part of it is uh, we will as foreign secretary i think mentioned on sunday uh, we will use whatever options we need and is felt appropriate to bring out our people as i mentioned we had been using civilian aircrafts and uh, it was felt that uh, our assets regarding c17 would also be able to augment and help and streamline that process and so we have been using it i if, if you recall it correctly uh, one of the c17s has also gone out with humanitarian assistance out so that's a decision that's based on operational requirement and ground situation um shailendra ji uh, belgorod mein baat aapne ki ji hamari team sirf belgorod mein nahi hai aur bhi jagah bhi hai kursk mein bhi hai aur kuch aur jagah bhi hai russian side pe par dekhiye ye hamare choice pe to nahi hai wo map mein to bahut pass lagta hai पर अभी एक वहां हॉस्टाइल वहां वॉर चल रहा है तो अभी के लिए जो रूट लग रहा है जो हमारी रशियंस की बातचीत करने के बाद जो हमने एडवाइजरी इशू की है वो वेस्ट और साउथ वेस्ट की तरफ है पश्चिम के दिशा दिशा से ही यूक्रेन की तरफ है पूर्व के दिशा में वहां रशियन फोर्सेस होंगे या कुछ भी होंगे हमें नहीं मालूम मैं इसमें कह नहीं सकता हूं कि क्या पर हां अगर मौका मिले तो वो ऑप्शन हमारे पास है और हम उसको आ, देख रहे हैं क्या हो सकता है बट अभी के लिए जो आप जिक्र कर रहे हैं खारकी में जो हमारी एडवाइजरी है उसमें सिर्फ ये तीन पश्चिम की तरफ जगह हैं सेफ जोन्स की बात हम कर रहे हैं यू मेंशन सुचित्रा जी ऑफ मिकल ऑफ यस लुक एज आई मेंशन खारकी ऑफकोर्स वी लुकिंग एट बट देर आर अदर सिटीज देर इज सुमी देर इज मिकल ऑफ zaporizh has now luckily been a little better uh, there are a couple of other places nearby so our request has always been on a safe passage from kharki when nearby adjoining places the same response i gave to sadat i don't think uh, i would be in a position to share exact numbers our teams both in uh, me control rooms here as well as our uh, me control centers or embassy control centers are taking in all the information and uh, people do move so let's you know i'm one of the problems we face is somebody sends a message saying i'm here and in 10 hours next day they by the time so i think let, but yes we we are focused on trying to get them out and i mentioned right in the beginning we are seeing if we can send an actual embassy team there somewhere in the eastern region to coordinate this from these places depending of course on the ground situation um 
Uh, Sudhi, this is a question that I can answer very easily. When it happens, we will let you know. Prime Minister has been actually in touch with a lot of leaders over the last couple of days, as you know. Uh, he spoke to the neighboring countries. He's spoken to Poland. He's spoken to Slovak Republic. He's spoken to uh, Romanian leaders. He also received calls from uh, President Macron, as well as with, uh, I think, the um, chair, commission head, um, Charles Michel, yesterday of the European Union. And... Um, uh, so is external affairs minister. He also also informs you of his conversations. So uh, once it happens and we are in a position to share that, we'll certainly do that. Shinjo, I didn't get your uh, exact details of your question. Yes, in the east is something that we are looking at. Uh, there are a number of towns. Some of them, then people have reduced in because people have come out. Uh, we are open to looking at any option uh, in which to do, whether it's east, west, or through the south, wherever there is a safe uh, route, a mechanism to bring out our citizens, we will uh, use that. We are exploring, um, certainly exploring all the uh, options. Okay, if there are no further questions, I would like to thank you. Okay, okay, last. last. Uh, oh, one second, uh, ma'am. Microphone, please. Uh, so one thing is the, that you're talking about, how things have been escalating. Uh, so how soon can this eastern uh, region be opened up? Also, there has been a query regarding Naveen's mortal remains. Uh, is that a possibility or you think it may not be possible to extricate him? Okay, one, one second, one second, one by one. Okay, and Naveen's, okay. Sir, Pashchim Bengal ki Mukhya Mantri Mamata Banerjee keh rahi hai ki teen mahine pehle lekar ke aana chahiye tha. Bohut deir sarkar ne kar di wahan se apne nagriko ko chhatro ko nikalne mein. Last, last question. Uh, okay. Uh, regarding Regarding your Embassy